Down, Chuck Cornegy down low. Cornegy, Cornegy tried hard, but David Panisi had other things in mind. Uh, great deed from David Panisi. He's got a big body on him. Actually, I think he probably weighs, weighs as much or a bit more than Chuck. Difficult there for him to put it up. Honeyman with the ball, out to Ryan Stolberg. He thought about it. Honeyman, one-on-one -on -one against Kieran Mitchell Hill. And there was a three seconds violation. Honeyman, he's a gutsy little player. He tried to take Mitchell Hill to the basket of all people with David Panisi waiting on him. Yeah, he is a gay man, taking it right in here amongst that tall timber. I think he's only about five foot nine. D'Ambrosis finds Mitchell Hill alone for three! Uh, must have had his foot on the line there. The referee's only signaled a two there for Kieran Mitchell Hill. Oh, well, the Townsville McDonald's are now leading 51 to 43. Honeyman with the ball out on the wing. Cornegay with a screen. Woodbury. No good. D'Ambrosis, another rebound. A great defense from Derek Rucker got a hand up on um, Steve Woodby and made, his, made him alter his shot in the air and um, shot it a bit long. Rucker for two! One on one against Honeyman. That wasn't a match. That was a mismatch. The Townsville McDonald's Suns now lead 53 to 43 on the price attack scoreboard. A uh, difficult job for Aaron Honeyman there. You know, Derek gets a sniff of, a, of an open shot, um, you know, with Honeyman's height and the way Derek's got that high release on his shot, it's going to be tough for, for Honeyman to try and stop him. OK, 10 seconds on the shot, on the shot clock. CJ Bruton, head and shoulder fake, jump shot. No good. And there Brothers another rebound. And that's it at the end of the first half. The score on the Price Attack scoreboard, the Brisbane Bullets 43, the Townsville McDonald Suns 53. Here we are at the halftime break in this classic matchup of North versus South as the Townsville Suns are leading the Brisbane Bullets 53 to 43. The leading scorers for the McDonald Suns are Derek Rucker on 15 points and Tony D'Ambrosis with 14 points and 7 rebounds. Best for the Brisbane Bullets are C.J. Bruton with 14 and Steve Woodbury with 14. But let's get back to the Suns. Tony D'Ambrosis, 15 points and 7 rebounds in the first half, David. A very unusual. Um, Tony's been having a bit of a quiet year this year and um, it's good to see someone else stepping up for the Suns and Tony's been inspirational for them and hopefully we'll be able to continue that into the second half. Let's have a look at the SOS higher statistics. Right, well, the most telling um, statistics at the half-time break are the Suns are shooting at 60% compared to the Bullets' 34. Uh, rebounds are fairly even. The Bullets' 25 to the Suns' 22. Um, but the Bullets in there picking up 16 offensive rebounds. Uh, obviously, their defensive uh, rebound tally is not going to be fairly high because the Suns are shooting at such a high percentage. And now we have Mark Armstrong shooting for the Mitsubishi Lancer. Better luck next time, Mark. Have you always wanted to shoot for the midst? Back to the Townsville Entertainment and Convention Center as the Townsville McDonald Suns try to protect this 10-point lead of 53 to 43 over the Brisbane Bullets. Simon Curl, Jason Cameron out on the wing. Cameron being guarded hard by Honeyman. Carroll fakes, shoots the three, is a bit short. C.J. Bruton comes down with the rebound. Sun still in the man-to-man -man defense. Honeyman to Cornegay down low. When you go away for a breakup layup, who cares who's behind? You should be looking straight ahead for the goal. Just go up and get it. If someone blocks your shot, then you go back and chase it again. Ray O's down low to Stephen Woodbury against Jason Cameron. They're going one-on-one. -on -one. He kicks it back out to Roger Smith. And Roger Smith. And the ref gives him credit for three.
course now the McDonald's Suns 58, the Brisbane Bullets 50. Very interesting to see what happens here because one of the other officials, Mike Reese, actually signaled a two. Roger Smith did have his um, foot on the line from where I was looking at it, so they may change that call shortly. I think they should because this foot was on the line as far as I was concerned. Okay, Ray O's, credit him for a rebound. And Jason Cameron for three! Now, Tony just starting to suck, it, suck, suck air a bit there. You know he's been working hard and um, needs a bit of a break, but definitely not losing anything. Grant Kruger coming into the game, and he definitely gives him a spark coming off the bench. Okay. Dirk Rucker being guarded by C.J. Bruton. Ray O's. Ray O's has got the feeling. Aaron Honeyman for three, no good, Ray O's, the reliable Ray O's on the rebound, here comes the Suns in transition. Honeyman on Simon Carroll, Simon Carroll with the height advantage, and Simon Carroll, the wild thing, scores. Honeyman loses it, Rucker scoops it up, he dishes up to Kruger, Okay, Woodbury down low against Cameron. He'll try to get this fifth foul on him. No, he won't. CJ Bruton with the loose rebound, and he scores. Okay, the McDonald Suns now lead 70 to 58. The Suns can't relax there, you know. Um, Simon just went to sleep a bit there, and um, CJ Bruton snuck through, picked up the offensive board. Ray Owens with the soft touch. Stephen Woodbury, strong drive to the basket, and he scores immediately. Kruger just took a hard fall with a blow to the back of the head from Carnegie. Getting kind of physical out there. It is a bit physical. The boys are putting some bodies on each other there, and um, Steve Woodbury there with the, with, with the baseline drive, and he is a tough player. He shoots the ball so well from outside. They really do have to get up and contain him. Greg Kruger! And he is fouled. Dirk Rocker with a looping pass. Grant Kruger misses the bonus. McDonald Suns now leading 74 to 60. CJ Bruton setting it up. Steve Woodbury isolated with Travis Lindstrom. Zagetti on the offensive rebound. Woodbury again. He loses the ball, but he's fouled. And Whitbury scores on a second free throw. And now on the price attack scoreboard, the Suns are leading 74 to 62. Hey, Steve would be looking to sort of uh, try and take over a bit here for the Bullets and get him back into the game. And he is the sort of player that can do it. So they really have to look after their defense. Simon Carroll steals it. But Rucker stole it back. I think the referees might have missed that backcourt call, yeah, but hey, we're not, we're not going to say nothing to him. Oh, sweet. Oh, CJ Brink with a no look pass to Carnegie. But it was interesting on that last play. Simon Curl lost the ball. They tried to make an outlet pass to the Bullets. And uh, Rucker intercepted the pass, but his little back foot was across the line. But there was no call, made. So. There you go. <laughs> well, we're only commentators. We're not, no, we're not the, the referees. No, no. The wild thing passes to Lindstrom. Doug Rucker for three is no good. Roger Smith won the rebound. I think the Suns need to start pushing the ball down inside the keyway a bit more. Um, you know, they've thrown up a couple of three-point shots. They haven't dropped. Uh, very important that they try and steady themselves here, get another couple of easy buckets inside, try and loosen up that um, Bullets defense a bit. Okay, Steve Woodbury, he's doing the scoring for the Bullets at the moment. Another jump shot. Sun still leading 77 to 66 on the price attack scoreboard. Just over 20 seconds left. Suns will be looking to just take the last shot here, not give the Bullets a, another chance to, to cut, cut into that lead.
Simon Carroll out to Travis Lindstrom all alone. And it's no good. Chuck Carnegie on the rebound. Oh. And he knows with Leroy Loggins being injured, he's got to be the man that scores a majority of the points. Well, he is, and he is an explosive player and can do it, and the Suns have to be very wary of that. And obviously in this third quarter so far, um, Steve Woodbury's looking to look to take over, and he's done that for them. And they need to shut him down in this last quarter. Townsville Suns looking for a win. Simon Carroll. Derek Rucker against Roger Smith. Slicing his way. Turn around. Jump shot. Fade away. Jump shot by Derek Rucker. The Suns now lead 79 to 68 on the price attack scoreboard. That is a tough shot. Derek in there against one of the biggest guys in the league and flips the lob, lob shot up. Um, nothing but net. Well, the score is now the Townsend McDonald Suns 79. The Brisbane Bullet 70 on the price attack scoreboard. 11 minutes and 21 seconds left to play. Simon Carroll, spin move. Simon Carroll, open over Chuck Carnegie. What a play. The Tails of McDonald's Suns now lead 81 to 70. No, great spin there, move from, spin move there from Simon. Okay, CJ Bruton, great move. Mark Nash is on the follow-up. The Brisbane Bullets now trail 72 to 81 on the price attack scoreboard. The Suns on fast break defense. Great hustle there from Tony D'Ambrosius. Come down and stop what would have, should, would have been a sure layup for the Bullets. Derek Rucker shaking and baking. Dishes up to Jason Cameron. And Stephen Whitburn in rebound. Bullets now looking to set it up. Simon Carroll, great defense on Woodbury. There's Woodbury again. Oh, Jason Cameron made a great play against Chuck Carnegie, but Carnegie got it back for a reverse lay-in. Scores now, McDonald's Suns 81, the Prison Bullets 74. CJ Bruton on Simon Carroll. Roger Smith being called for the reach-in foul against Rucker. And that's his fourth personal foul. Suns get the ball from the side. Rucker gets to Ray O's. Ray O's turn around. No good. Woodbury on the rebound. A bit forced there on that shot from Ray O's. They really, really do need to go inside with Chuck Gornigo on four fouls. Uh, Rain probably needed to just sort of kick that one back out and re re reset himself and, and get a better shot. Mark Nash was left alone. Right now, the Suns being out hustled. Mate, the Suns have got to really um, concentrate on what's going on here. The Bullets are sort of working their way back into this game here. There's that guy again, Steve Woodbury. He brings the Bullets within the five. The Townsville Suns are now leading 81 to 76. Steve Woodbury with the blind steal against. Simon Carroll. Just lost concentration here. I think Mark Bragg needs a timeout just to regather the CJ guys. CJ Bruton scores. Suddenly, the Brisbane Bullets are back in the game, trailing 78 to 81. Okay, suddenly now is a three-point ball game. Eight minutes and 45 seconds left to play. Mate, the Suns were, Henry, the Suns were this close to the, um, to the Perth Wildcats in the game on Saturday night, and um, all of a sudden, you know, within a couple of minutes, Perth were out to, to a 10-point lead, so they really need to concentrate here, look after the ball, and try and get a couple of easy buckets. 
Well, you know, turnovers, poor shot selection, those are momentum killers. And the Suns will have to take care of that ball down the stretch. Wow, thing is the key with a three. The Suns are now leading 84 to 78. Woodbury on good penetration, dishing off to Mark Nash. The Bullets answer right back. The Suns are now leading 84 to 80 on the price attack scoreboard. Derek Rucker with the ball being guarded by Roger Smith. Jason Cameron. Jason Cameron turns the ball over. We were just talking about momentum killer, momentum killers, turnovers. Turnovers is the big one, you know, and you can harp on it as much as you like, but really that's where the game's won or lost, especially at this stage of the game. Well, Chuck Carnegie rebounds a miss. Woodbury jump shot, and now it's a two-point ball game. What happened to our big lead, David? Well, the bullets cut that back real quick, you know, as we said, a couple of turnovers, a couple of missed shots, and it's a funny game, basketball. All of a sudden, what seemed to be a comfortable lead is down to a, uh, a skinny lead and um, makes it tougher on the Suns now. Oh, wait a minute now. The referee has called a traveling on Simon Carroll. Simon Carroll is maintaining that well, the bullets blocked the shot. Yeah, well, Simon's gone up for the shot. It looked like a bullets player got a hand on it, and Simon's let it go and then picked it back up. But obviously the officials thought that uh, no one else has touched it, and he's just um, dropped it back to the ground himself, which um, makes it a travel. Well, wow, that's another turnover, isn't it, David? Another turnover for the Suns. Jack Ruck on the rebound. Here come the Suns on transition. Three on two. The skipper is good! Coast to coast! No, great play from Derek. Coast to coast. Inspirational stuff. And, um, you know, I think the Suns will be looking for him to try and lead them home here. And if, um, if he can continue with that sort of stuff, then uh, it certainly could happen. Suns leading 86 to 82 on the price attack scoreboard. Woodbury. Good crossover move. Jason Cameron loses his footing. Now, Jason didn't know where he was going there, unfortunately. Uh, you know, Steve Woodbury's uh, such a good player there. He's got some great moves, and Jason was trying to stay with him, but he's got his feet caught up then. Sun still ahead, 86 to 84. Wild thing for three! Wild thing for three! Oh, what a game! The McDonald's Suns are now leading 89 to 84. Well, Simon and Derek killed him from the three-point line in the last game. We've been a bit quiet from out there so far tonight, but um, Simon's on fire, just nailed two in a row, and if him and Derek can start pulling a few of them, then... He... And off is a foul called on Roger Smith! He gave him the hip, and the referee was right on the play. Is that his third blocking foul for tonight? That's his fifth personal foul, and that's his third block, too. Bet your bottom dollar Brad Davidson will be sticking to Bruton like glue. Maybe will be, you know, the Suns have still got the upper hand here, you know, we're still leading and um, it's the Bullets that do have to chase us, so we just have to have to keep our composure here and, you know, just take some easy shots. Okay, Ray O's with the ball down low. Wild thing on the reverse layup! Dirk Rucker with the assist, the Towns of McDonald's Suns are now leading 91-86. to 86. What great a pass, game! Great pass there from Derek and um, good... Good presence of mind from Simon. He had the big guy over there looking for the block he shot on the um, left-hand side. Just went across underneath the basket for the little spin off the um, backboard. Okay, look at Brad Davidson on CJ Bruton. What a matchup these two are. Spin dribble, CJ Bruton, he weaves his way through. But a foul was called on the skipper, Derek Rucker. Four minutes and 11 seconds left to play on the price attack scoreboard. The Townsville McDonald Suns are only leading 91 to 86. <laughs> 45 seconds left to play. I have never seen such an action packed game like this. Henry's been waiting for this opportunity all year, man. This is great where you can go off. This is, this is high performance drama. Oh, oh, what a play from Chuck Carnegie. That was a thunderous dunk. 
The score is 96 to 93. This game's got everything. Well, there's not much better way to answer than what Chuck Cornegay just did there. Got the offensive rebound, just slammed it back home. Ray Owens against Chuck Cornegay. pacemaker can last that long. Carnegie misses the second free throw, and that guy, Brad Davison, was on the rebound. The spark plug, he brings it up. Kruger with the ball, he's got the skipper, Derek Rucker. He's been guarded by Roger Smith. The Suns just need thing. to move the ball around here, just keep executing, look for the good shot. Wild thing is Woodbury. Kruger from the baseline. And Woodbury on the rebound. One minute and 16 seconds left to play. Suns leading 98 to 94. Stephen Woodbury penetrating, fighting Mark Nash all alone under the basket. And the score is 98 to 96. Wild thing better be careful. It's a two point ball game. 54 seconds left to go. Ray O's. No good. Mark Nash on the rebound. And wait a minute. Chuck Carnegie. He's got a cramp in his leg. It's 47 seconds left. Can the McDonald's Suns do it? Oh. oh Great defense for Brad Davidson, the rest of the team there. Bullets trying to throw the ball in from the end line. Stuck with the five second violation. Now the Sun's got the chance to extend his lead. Okay. Greg Kruger running the point. That guy, that guy, he got hit in his precious shoes. Brad Davidson. CJ Bruton. Well, that's the Bullets' fourth team foul. Now puts them into the, the Suns into the bonus. So the next foul the Bullets get, the Suns will go to the line to shoot two. The Wild Thing's got the ball. Woodbury, 36 seconds left to play. Can the McDonald's Suns do it? Woodbury, does, don't, he doesn't want to foul Simon Carroll. That's like swearing at a policeman. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock now. Rayo's got the Brad Davidson. Brad Davidson for three. Greg Kruger on the rebound. Oh, it's going to be good. What a play. Brad Davidson put up the desperation three. Greg Kruger on the desperation rebound. Listen to the 5,247 capacity crowd here at the Entertainment Center. Wow. Is 98 to 96. Make that 99. 100! Wild thing! Wild thing! Well, that's about the game there, unless the Bullets can get a four point play here. Wild thing, your father's gonna be upset. Oh no, CJ Bruton with the three. Brad Davidson. And the game is over. The Suns win it. 100 to 99. The Towns of McDonald's. Great performance from the Suns here. Come out, nailed some threes there that kept the Suns in the game. Must feel great, hey? It's a good feeling. I think, uh, I think Roger Smith did a great job. I mean, the first probably three quarters. You know, he's one of the best defenders in the league, and he did a great job. And 
you know, I was just lucky that Derek, being the great point guard he is, got me involved in that last quarter, and I think that was the difference, thanks to Derek. Yeah, well, the first uh, first time you, when you played them a few weeks ago here, you guys, you and uh, uh, Derek killed them from outside the three-point line. A bit quieter in the first half. Um, went inside and used it inside, but um, when it was needed down the stretch, you hit them. Yeah, it was good. I think uh, the whole team was just a great, great job. You know, it was a gutsy win. And to hang on and win by one point when we're up by so many, I think it just shows a lot of character. And everybody from Brad down onto uh, Travis and Jack and everybody, it was just a great team win. You have just watched one of the most exciting games seen here on the Seven Network. The Townsville Suns coming out winners, 199. I don't even want to talk about the statistics right now. I'll let my man David Blaze talk about that. David, you tell the story. Well, thanks, Henry. Well, um, there's a couple of telling factors there in the um, stats, Ben. S similar to halftime, um, Sun's shooting percentage way um, better than what the Bullets was, 57 compared to the Bullets, 42. And uh, the Sun's 50% from the three-point line compared to the Bullets, 25. Um, Bullets come out on top on the rebounding, 47-36. But I think the, the most crucial um, part of the game was those um, couple of threes down the stretch there from Simon that really helped the Suns uh, keep their lead. And now that my heartbeat is back to normal, it's my favorite part of the show, the picking of the home game hero. And that was not hard. My vote goes to Simon Curl. Simon Curl for hitting those two clutch three-pointers down the stretch to help give us that momentum for the victory. And of course, Derek Rucker, the skipper, 25 points and eight assists. And what about Tony D'Ambrosis? 16 points and seven rebounds. 14 of the points were in the first half. It's great to see the big guy gets the things all together. Can't leave out Rayos. Great game from him. Only scored 10 points, but pulled down 15 rebounds. Great effort against Big Chuck Cornegay. Well, good point, David. We'll call him, we'll call that honorable mention. And until next week, on behalf of my main man, David, and I, I'll see you next week against the Canberra Cannons, where you can enjoy tip-off.